Hey there and welcome to the Art Lab. My name is Andy and today we're going to be testing some cheap resin from Timu. How does it stack up to other resin that I've used and what's it like in its performance? How many bubbles does it produce? What is it like mixing with different mica powders? So in today's video we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into this resin and give it a good test. If this is your first time on this channel, I make things with resin. If this is something that interests you, then give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. All right, time to open the, uh, the package. Here. One of the lessons I learned with getting this package was the fact that Timu sends it via water freight. So it took about a month to get to me. So. One of the things you need to take into consideration if you're going to get some resin from Timu. And here it is in the kit. Comes with 500 mils of hardener. And we've got 500 mils of the actual resin itself. 30 minute work time, it's supposed to be self leveling. We get some little finger gloves by the looks of things, some stirring sticks, oh, as well as the kit comes with a couple of these sort of sucker things and a couple of small little measuring cups. And some instructions, so quite impressed that it actually came with instructions. I wouldn't have expected that from Timu. So pretty easy, one-to-one -one mixing ratio, mix them up, and then pour and wait. It's got an eight hour curing time, so that's pretty quick. So we'll be able to, to do this and within eight hours, see our final results. So I'm gonna make up a hundred mils of this resin. So it's 50 of part A, 50 of part B, and Hopefully that should be enough to fill the bottom here and give us one or two bookmarks. So we're going to do two different tests with this one. So first off, we're going to do a clear on the bottom here and put some corks in there. I'm not going to do anything to try to pop bubbles and corks are very porous, full of air. And so it's a good way to test to see how this resin reacts with uh, air bubbles. So Give that a go, and then we've got some book bookmarks mold. Uh, now with this, this is very thin, so this will demonstrate to us how it, uh, how this resin works in thin layers. So that's good for putting on your art, for example. Part A first. See how this comes with a. Yep, it's got a seal on top, so that's. Good start. Two seals on top, even. Seems to be quite a thick resin. Okay, so we've got our 100 mils, a few air bubbles in there already, and we'll give that a mix. And uh, I'm supposed to mix for, I normally mix for about five minutes with my resin. Just for it the same. Right, so we've mixed that now for about five minutes. It's quite clear, a few bubbles there, but they are coming to the surface and popping. So I expect that to clear up a bit. As time goes by and more of those bubbles come to the surface just going to mix now a couple of mica powders to see how this mixes in we'll use that for the bookmarks so just not a huge amount maybe about uh, 20 mil each no less than that we'll just do do 10 mil got a blue mica powder here Now you only put in about 10% of 
of the actual volume of resin so it doesn't take a huge amount okay those are stir around let's see how they mix Mixing really, really well. See them there. Nice purple luster color. See that. And likewise, that's mixed really well too. Look at that beautiful deep blue there. Stunning. Right, so it's pretty cool color combination and we'll just have to see how that goes and sets. So our next test I'm going to do a bit thicker and this is going to be a clear resin along with some corks and it's a good test because corks release a lot of air. Alright so let's put a layer of clear down. Right, it's got a little bit of this bronze or rose gold foil. Try to put some of this. This foil was not the easiest to work with, especially when you had some uh, unset resin on your hands as well. Using a stirring stick was a lot better method to try to get that foil into the resin. Made a bit of a dog's breakfast of the, uh, the foil, but this is a good test anyway just to see about the um, air and how things react. We'll leave it at that and see how that is in the morning. Alright, so using the Temu resin, that first clear layer has dried with the corks in there and so now I'm going to add a coloured layer to make this coaster. Gone with a burgundy type colour here as I think this will make the corks stand out and it's quite a nice mica powder I had so looking forward to seeing what the results are for this coat. So one of the things I did with the resin test was to do some bookmarks and we've got a couple here and oh, for some reason yeah this resin didn't really cure uh, so the interesting thing is that I used the same resin as what I used on uh, this one here, this cured, whereas this one hasn't. So maybe I'll keep it out of the mold for a little bit and we'll see how that goes. But very strange, like the colours look really good, but it's still bendy and it's after a couple of days. By this time, it should be cured. It's supposed to have an eight hour cure time, so I'm not sure why it has not cured. 
not good if it's two days later and it's still not cured. It's the same mix as I said, as this one, and this one has cured. There's not even that much of a difference, so maybe it's half the thickness. Okay, I'll leave these out of the mold and maybe it's something to do with the mold and we'll see how that goes in a couple of days time. Alright, so it's a few days later and we're evaluating this resin from Timu. And I've had some mixed results. So the first thing on this art piece, uh, it's cured and that's been fine. Um, however, I did these bookmarks and... It, it's like a week later and they're still flexible so I mean that's kind of a fail I thought because they were in the silica mold maybe they hadn't cured properly because of that um, but taking them out and they haven't fully cured so it's a bit of a fail also did this uh, coaster so we'll take it out of the mold now and just see how that looks So that's come up pretty well. I did a, the clear coat with the resin, uh, but actually pushing down on that, that's, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I just pushed down and it's a bit indented. So, no, that hasn't cured properly. Uh, the back here, it's a bit harder. So this was one mix on the top second mix on the bottom that's cured a bit better this top one it's been about a week and it's still a little bit soft so don't think that's a goer so i guess the moral of the story there is that yes you can get some cheap resin from timu but it's been a bit hit and miss so i would not recommend getting this uh, the hard thing is that there's no brand names on this resin, so you can only go by what the picture is. So you have no idea what the resin is like, you know, who, who the manufacturer is of this resin. It's just a generic resin from China. And it's a real pity that this one didn't cure properly 100% uh, because that's quite cool. I quite like that design with the, uh, with the corks in there. I hope you found that video helpful. I am going to look at getting some more resin from Amazon in the US uh, and I'll be doing a review on once that resin turns up and we can compare what was that resin like compared to stuff from Temu. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber already hit that subscribe button. Till next time, keep creating!